Hi there, Doran from cgbookcase.com here with another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a wireframe render, which I think really helps to showcase your modeling skills when you put it on your portfolio. For this tutorial I'm going to use the chocolate product installation I did a few months ago. You can download the scenes on the blog post on cgbookcase.com. So because we want to create a wireframe render, we want to have all the objects use the same material and we can easily do this using render layers. First, we're gonna go to the layers tab, create a new render layer and name it wireframe or whatever you like to name it. Then, in the layer panel, we have the option to choose a material which all objects in the scene are gonna use when this render layer is being rendered. But before we can select the material, we need to create a new one, and we can only do this by adding a new object and then creating a new material. So next we're gonna add a mesh, it can be anything, in my case it's a sphere. Go to the materials tab and add a new material. Then we're gonna select this material from the list in the layers tab. Then we're gonna open the node editor to edit the material, delete the diffuse shader added by default, and add an ambient occlusion shader. Next, we're gonna add the wireframe node and connect it to the ambient occlusion shader. As you can see, we've now got a black and a white wireframe with some pretty thick wires. Then we are going to lower the wire's thickness by adjusting the size. Next we are going to add a color ramp and invert the colors by pressing this little switch button. This is totally optional, but I am going to brighten the blacks a bit because I prefer the look. We are almost done with this tutorial. The last thing we have to do is to render it, so we are going to activate denoising. Set the view to default because there is no real benefit using the filmic view when using an ambient occlusion shader. Choose a relatively low amount of samples and press F12 to render the image. Thank you so much for watching. As I said in the beginning, you can download the file for free on cgbookcase.com if you are interested. Also, if you have an ArtStation account, I'd highly appreciate it if you spend a minute and check out my work there.